we took Starlink on the road to Yellowstone. This park is known for its beautiful landscapes, its abundant wildlife, and of course its thermal features. One thing it's not known for is its abundance of cell phone service or internet. When we bought our camper van, it was always the plan to visit national parks including Yellowstone. Part of that plan included testing how well Starlink worked while camping. I installed a pole mount on the back of the van and it worked well at Arches National Park with clear views of the sky and a respectable 65 megabits per second download. But I knew Yellowstone, with all of its trees, was going to be a little bit more challenging. We stayed at two campgrounds during our visit, starting with the Grant Village Campground. We pulled into our beautiful spot on a rainy evening, and I knew it would be challenging to get an unobstructed view of the sky. After trying my pole mount and the ground near the van, my last chance was to use all 50 feet of cable to put the antenna out um, on the edge of a bluff near our campsite that was right on the edge of the lake. And this worked out well because it was the best connection we had of the two campgrounds. In the morning, we were able to get an amazing 250 megabits per second download. But it was a little bit slower in the evenings, and I assume that's because there's higher demand. Next, we stayed at Canyon Campground, where we got a sweet, secluded spot surrounded by trees. I figured the best spot for the antenna was in front of the campsite, very close to the road, and even then, the connection was not great. The antenna spent a lot of time either obstructed or searching for signal. There were periods of great download speeds, followed by interruptions, but at least it was something. It was helpful being able to check driving directions and weather, and we did end up having to change a reservation we had for a cowboy cookout due to weather, and having internet at the campsite was very helpful. Overall, it was a great trip, and I recommend visiting Yellowstone, even if you don't have your own internet. But if you do plan on taking Starlink with you, be prepared for the possibility of campsites with obstructed views of the sky. And definitely check out the Roosevelt Corral Cowboy Cookout. It was one of the highlights of our trip. If you found this video helpful, please let me know in the comments, and also check out some of my other videos. And thanks for watching.